G uh, must have been uh, one of the, the first couple coming out of his pool. Uh, yeah. So we're going to see what his Charizard can do. Such a tremendous switch from a, a generally uh, projectile, uh, keep out motivated character to uh, a character such as Charizard. Probably the only similarity would be in, in, in their weight look category. Kinoi is making sure to look out for that back air. Knows how powerful it can be. Well, I think in, in this matchup at least, Falco can probably use his laser because because of the fact that Charitor is not really fast. Yeah. Oh, oh this spike. Spike hitbox comes out, but doesn't send him far down enough that he can't recover. Oh. Tries the trump, doesn't work. And oh, that back air doesn't do it yet, but that's certainly what, what uh, Kinois was uh, careful about earlier. Um, We'll see if getting hit by that now, with not, not dying from it, will, will help him in, in being careful to, to not get hit by it again. Now Robolu is, is looking for back airs. If, if this percent gets high enough, we'll, we will probably start to see Robolu trying to, to switch into a, a more grab-oriented game, since that uh, up throw is, is, yeah. is very likely to kill from, from high platforms. Not from the middle one, apparently. Let's see who gets the first kill. Spacing out with their... Uh, I'm not sure if that was a misinput. No, I, I believe he, he certainly intended to, to side B, since uh, Kinois was uh, set on spacing with his aerials, so maybe he was trying to catch a landing, but that doesn't seem necessary, since uh, Kinois unfortunately seems to SD after trying to chase after Roboluigi. Nice answer with that down B. Oh, and that up smash will do it. Nice punish. Robo being very careful with how he comes down from the platforms. So saw him jumping around a lot from the uh, top and right platform until he found an opening to, to get down into the stage and regain stage control. That was dangerous. Up tilt, a huge disjointed hitbox. Very good for, for pressuring on platforms. The Man lock. It. That oh, was a lock, oh, right? Yeah, it was. It was certainly a, a laser lock. Uh, it, it, they're possible from Falco, but he has a hard time trying to, to make much out of them because of his run speed. So you, you yeah. see, you also saw him uh, tripping uh, Charizard with a down B at the platform and making him pratfall down below in the stage. But that side B. Yeah. At these percents, it's very dangerous. Oh, oh, that was yeah. a great setup. Great setup, yeah. He got the. Was that a two frame? Did I believe. I believe it might have been. Yeah. So as I was saying earlier, the Falco does have the the lock setups with the, the laser. He got another. Uh, he, he tried to get a different uh, uh, lock setup with the laser after he created the pratfall with the the down B, uh, but uh, just barely missed the laser. So now going into game two, we'll see if Kinois can make some adjustments. Wow. Three straight layers. Already has been able to, to bait out that uh, side B from Charizard and almost punished him with a spike. Oh, reads the jump. Manages to get down with that down air. That was a risky side B, but manages to make the best out of it. I almost broke the shield. It was a very unconventional uh, way to, to land from, from Robo Luigi with that side B. 
And that trade was not at all favorable for, for Kinois. Uh, Little Luigi manages to, to take the first stock with the, the huge amount of rage. Oh, gets the revenge kill as early as possible. Huge percent from that back air. Now there's pressure from Roboluigi. Good drag down. Manages to get that grab out of the extended hurt box from uh, Falco's uh, forward air. Very good awareness. Goes for the side B, trying to catch the landing of those uh, short hop aerials from Kinois, but manages to, to miss it by just a little bit. This is looking very even. Yeah, it is. Kinois really doesn't want to get hit by that back air. Oh, oh, and that's going to kill, yeah. He eventually got hit, and that's the end of this, the, the stock in the set. Robo gets it, 2-0. Yeah, but really good coming for, really good stuff coming from, from Kinois. Uh, Robo Luigi is, is very, very experienced at this game. Uh, I'm not sure what, what year he started playing Smash Bros, but I believe uh, Kinois started playing around the time that I did, yeah. uh, already into Smash Wii U. Uh, so he's certainly come a long way. And managed to have a, a, a really close set with, with Robo Luigi. So that was very good.